Hi guys, it's me, the Witch of Boise, here to do another Pick a Cad reading. Today's reading is about cancer season. So um, cancer season is between June 21st through July 23rd. Um, this is for anyone zodiac, so it's not just if you're a cancer, this is for anyone. Um, so before we get started, make sure that you do like this video, um, hit subscribe if you already haven't, and then also comment below. Let me know um, what what pile did you pick? And if it resonated with you, I love to hear and read your comments. Um, so before we begin that this is a general read. So um, if it resonates with you, woo, zip is stoked. I'm really excited when it does resonate with you. And again, when you comment and let me know, I get very excited. Um, also, um, if it doesn't resonate with you, well, I'm very sorry, but there are um, a total of three readings, so you can watch all three of them and see if any of those resonate with you. Um, also, there are going to be love cards in here, so my default reading is reading to a female about a male, so pronouns are interchangeable, so he's can be she's, she can, she's can be he's, she, she, he, he, whatever is going on in your life. So let's get started. We have, and also a quick thing too, that um, if you are a Cancer and you're like, these are not my stones, according to the Crystal Bible, they are. So yeah, <laughs> go, go and talk to them about it. So we have number one is Opal, which is joy. Number two is Fire Agate, which is creativity. Number three is Calcite, which is relaxation. So pick a cad and a cad, one, two, three. We're gonna start with number one, which is opal, joy. What a cool energy to start off with. Um, I would want my summer, uh, the kickoff to summer, summer solstice to start with some joy, some joyful energy, I love it. Okay, so another energy that's coming is um, the alligator. And so alligator is all about integration. So this is like learning to adapt and like learning lessons and integrating them into your life. So um, I don't like I'm getting the sense just right away that you haven't always been this joyful and this like positive and this really good energy and you've been really integrating it. So it's really there's a lot of healing kind of energy just right off the bat of you self improving yourself. Okay, so for the tarot cards, I'm just going to read them um, and then go to them. Um, you have Six of Swords. You have Ten of Pentacles. You have the Tower. You have um, the Emperor. Um, you have Eight of Wands. You have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Cups. And you have the Queen of Cups. So, um, really cool energy. You are moving forward. And again, like I said, with that energy of just like healing and, um, integrating that more joy in your, in your life, you've really have been moving forward and really focusing on what your goals are. And this can be, um, either like marriage, this can be, um, just like family life, um, really focusing on maybe, um, your siblings or um, just like family members, but it's just really getting back to um, like your roots and you're like just really getting back to that. Um, but I feel like something is going to drastically change with this. And I don't think, I don't get, because none of these cards are negative. So I'm not feeling like this is a negative aspect, that this is not going to be something that is negative. But I do feel that if you are single, um, something is going to be coming, um, someone I should say, because you have this really great emperor energy, which is becoming like the master of your entire life. So you really have been like in control in the sense of like, you are just on top of the world. It feels like, so there is going to be some quick movement. Um, there, there is going to be someone that is coming soon. Um, I feel like they're slow moving. I think that they've had their eye on you for a while. Um, but they're going to, they're, this feels like this is going to be a relationship or a start of something. And this might be a start of friends or whatnot, but you need to really like listen to your intuition and really trust, 
um, how you're feeling about it. But I do feel like you're trying to, I've been getting a lot of like manifesting energy with all of my reads. And I feel like at least with this like 10 of pentacles, that's what you're trying to manifest. That's what you're wanting. You're wanting this, um, like, all American life where you have a big ass house, you have a flipping golden retriever for hell's sakes. And you're just like, it's just that whole like magical, like what the American dream, I guess. Um, in that sense. And I feel like that this, what this is coming after this, um, tower, which I'm, the tower can be anything. This can be just, um, something that happens. You might, um, just, it's going to rock your world in the way of like, okay, it's time for me to do this and to get into this stuff. And like with the tower, I'm thinking of even like you're starting to go do hobbies outside of yourself or, um, like, um, you know, go to like a painting class or something, getting yourself out there. And I think that's what, where you're going to start to meet new people. And then this, um, energy is going to come. Okay. So then you got passion, which is allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. How funny is that? Um, retreat, which is it's time to disconnect from the world. Worth waiting for. And this is divine timing is at work in your love life. And then you have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Um, codependency. Um, addictions are affecting your romantic life and keep an open mind and that's your soulmate may differ from the usual type and um, expectations so wow I'm getting a lot so I think it's just like really live with your passion live with passion and joy and really start living with that because that's what you're going to be attracting now with the worth waiting for I feel like you've been waiting for a while for someone to come into your life for a romantic aspect and I think that it is coming but you still have to wait you still have to and it's just that divine timing it's bullshit I get it <laughs> but you just have to wait for it and with that retreat too it's just relax about it don't get don't get all focused on it in the way that you can't let the energy breathe and actually come to you because when you're constantly grabbing and gripping, you can't receive anything. So it's just time to retreat from it and just know that it's coming. Know to know that it is and let it go. Um, so codependency, I feel like this actually really resonated with me with the tower in the way that addictions are affecting your romantic life. Really think about codependency in the way of not even like relationships, but maybe like obsessing over, um, trying to get into a relationship, but this can also be alcohol. This can be drugs. This can be something that you might not think that you have a problem, but maybe you do, or maybe a loved one that in that 10 of pentacles does. So this might be your tower issue of codependency and addictions and things like that. So keep that in mind. Um, and then I think these two really go hand in hand, which is the give your relationship a chance and then keep an open mind. Um, I feel like this person that's going to be coming into your life is really not your type. Um, and that's why that keep the open mind because you never know. You never know who it's going to be and give it a chance. You know, that's the thing is if you feel like a spark or whatnot, but you're like, this isn't usually who I date, um, give him a chance. You never know. You don't have to like, when you're dating, you, you're not marrying this person. And I think that's what I usually get caught up where I'm like, I'm going to have to spend the rest of my life with this person and it freaks me out and blah, blah, blah. And I feel trapped. And you know what? You don't, you, it's dating. Just make it casual. And the thing is, is you give it a chance, let it go, and then be like, you know what, I'm not feeling this. Or, I'm really feeling this. Okay, so then you have Uranus, which is genius. You have Chiron, which is healing. You have a void, of course, moon missing. So I feel like you feel that there is something missing in your life, and I do feel it, it is this romance, because out of all the cards, I didn't get as many of these romance angels than this deck. So I feel like that is what's missing in your life and you need to just release it because it's going to be coming. 
Um, with healing, that is that six of swords. That's moving forward. You're healing from what has happened in the past and you're really focusing on what you're doing. And with um, Uranus, this is like um, the genius. This is starting to like be really cerebral and um, it's also a, an Aquarius sign too. So this can be someone, if it's not, it, it might you might be an Aquarius or this could be that person that's coming into your life, Aquarius. Okay, and then you have Dawn, which is new beginnings. See, I told you, like it's stuff is happening and it's just like in the works, it's on, it's not on the um, top of the water. It's all underneath, it's all submerged. You can't really see it, but it is happening and new beginnings are happening for you. And then you got true, which is yes, what you're asking for about is the truth. Then you have ma'at, which is fairness. This situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So this, I, I feel like with this energy and whatnot, again, keep the those relationships, keep an open mind, be fair to them and be fair to yourself too, because you might be missing out on a really great person because you're not being fair. Um, also with the scales and ma'at, it is a Libra energy as well. So Aquarius Libra, that can be um, zodiacs in either your chart or this other person's chart. Okay, then you have life restored and that is spiritual resurrection is gifted to you now. Whatever part of you or your life you thought to be dead is being revived and will flourish back into life. Just as the phoenix rises from the fire, transitioning from life into death, so too will you rise again, healed and renewed. How flippin' cool is that? You have the healing card. You have the new beginnings card. There is some big energy that's happening, and it's happening in this cancer season. So just keep focusing on that joy. Keep focusing on yourself. Let the relationship part of it go, because it's going to be coming. Then you have that soul retrieval. Isis, healing goddess, now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval, reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma, old and new. Soon we'll enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power. So be willing to go through the healing process, knowing that any emotional clearing taking place is leading you to wholeness. Holy crap. So this is healing energy. You are healing, baby. You are healing, healing, healing. And really focus on that healing energy because, again, that that tower is going to come. And it's going to, I honestly feel it's that codependency. And I feel like that is something that you need to really focus on and see what what's my issue. What is this codependency? And then that for example, for like with alcohol and things like that, you're drinking on top of um, trying to numb things. I know this because I have lived it. Um, and the thing is, is you have to heal stuff. You have to heal your inner self and you can't just start throwing substance on it thinking that, well, I'm not going to feel it. It's going to be numb. And then that way, I feel better and it's that's the worst way of doing it so it's really looking at what this codependency is and really healing on it find the root of that problem okay then you got nectar of the lotus and that is endless supply of energy joy peace bliss and love help others and help will come to you. How awesome is that so this is like this really does remind me of um of uh, law of attraction. This is like you will be helped. If you start to sacrifice and you start to give to others, you're going to get that back. That's how the universe works. And that's the same thing with this joy. You want to be showing this joy and showing all of this happiness and whatnot because that's what you're going to get back. What you put out in the universe is what you get back. So again, with that healing energy, you're going to be attracting people that are healing as well and that are ready for a healthy relationship. All right, guys. Well, that is it for number one. Make sure that you do a like and um, subscribe. Comment below if it resonated with you. And we are on to number two. So number two is fire agate, which is creativity. 
So you're, you got two energies and that is otter, which is woman energy. And you got dragonfly, which is illusions and emergence. So really cool, like fiery energy. Okay. Then you got the page of swords. You got the two of swords. You have karma, which is judgment. You have the high priest, which is the hierophant. You have the knight of cups. You have the seven of pentacles and you have the page of pentacles. So right off the bat, there is someone that is watching you or you're watching someone, but there is someone that is not that is watching you in the way of that they are really intrigued by you but there is a stop in this there is that that's the only reason why they're not coming and they're not emerging to you is that their heart and their mind are not aligned but judgment's going to come this person is going to figure out what they're going to do with you and this is vice versa too this can be you seeing someone as well and that judgment is going to come together and be like, well, is this relationship even worth it? Is this even worth um, going after? And you're going to be learning lessons from it. Now there is, and I don't know if it's this person, but there is going to be someone that is coming to you that is going to be proposing um, either love or an opportunity or something that is like that. And this is going to be someone that you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this person and um, they are going to be bringing you a really great message of love, heart, and um, even some money too. This can be this can be a business thing, um, but I'm feeling more of a love situation, like almost like this is that page of swords, and they figured out after this judgment thing, maybe being like, you know what, I lost this person. I learned from it. I learned who I am. I learned how to do stuff differently. I'm going to go and talk to this person. And it's what you've been waiting for. And you got past life relationship and you have known each other before. So this either, it's either one of these, the Knight of Cups or the Page of Swords. This is a past life relationship. And I'm feeling more of the Page of Swords if this is two different people. Um, it's because there are there's a weird attraction where it's like, I can't, we've known each other before. I can't, like, I can't stop thinking about it. Then you've got Cancer, I feel. Solar Eclipse, Revolution. And then Fourth House, Roots. Interesting, because like... <laughs> That's been a, a word I've been saying on the first reading is roots. So cancer, this can be this person's um, zodiac with that knight of cups because that's a water sign. This can also just really emphasize this cancer energy, which is really homebody and um, emotional. Um, then you have the revolution. And I do feel like because look at this imagery. Um, hello. There is going to be this um, revolution of hey I need to I need to get my shit together and do this and this is either you or this is that um other person and then you have fourth house which is roots and that's to me that feels like it's feeling being grounded and being going back to your roots going back to what gives you that joy what gives you that creativity and really focus on that creative energy as well then you have lightning which is power and then summer solstice, which is radiance and summer solstice just came. So this is like, I feel like this energy is happening at cancer. So like, this is all screaming. This is going to happen during this season. Um, there's a lot of power that's going on and I feel like it's on your end because I do feel like, I mean, it can be, um, uh, uh, it can be switched, but I'm feeling at least with that page of swords energy and that they're watching you. It's because you've gained so much power because you've just really focused on that woman energy. You focused on your emergence to like being that person that you're wanting to be. And this other person is watching this unfold and being like, oh, I want it. I want that bad. And with that summer solstice too, that's sun energy. That is so positive. Okay, so the unicorns want to make sure that you are exercising during this time. Run, walk, swim, or otherwise move your body. This will give you more energy and happiness. 
and then bridge it. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. And I'm honestly feeling that with this page of swords coming into your life with that knight of cups and trying to do this whole like, oh, oh sorry about that. Come on. Ew. I think that you need to like lay down the law and be like, what you did was fucked up. If this is like an ex, for instance, like this is, you have to be um, confrontational in that way of being like, you fucked up. And that's not cool. Don't just lay there and let it happen and just be like, okay, well, I'm lonely, so, blah, or I do love you, and blah. It's don't back down. You need to stand up for what you believe is right. Because what, if this is truly an ex and whatnot, and it ended on bad terms, you need to let them know, like, that's messed up, and you made a big mistake. Let them work for it, because you have that lightning. You have that power. Okay, and then you have the scales of balance and balancing give and take, directing and flowing, play and solitude are ways to heal the relationship between the inner masculine and feminine energies. Connection with the body is the most powerful form of healing for the feminine energy as it holds the secrets to divine feminine wisdom. So dance, sing and play. What a great message. Then you have the Empress of Pearl. And what that is, is you have the gift of great value. Born of struggle, adversity, and challenge, suffering can lead to growth. So look at your challenges as expanding your spiritual light. So cool. So I think that's also going with that like confrontation, because I do feel like that that's what is going to be happening in this cancer season, that you're going to have to express that and be like, that's not cool. And that could be not having a relationship with that person. And that's someone that you really wanted to have a relationship with again or whatever, but you spoke your mind. All right, guys, that's it. So make sure that you do a like hit subscribe. Also comment below to tell me if that resonated with you. And we are on to number three and that is going to be calcite, which is relaxation. Okay. So your energies are, um, elk, which is stamina and owl, which is deception. So you're seeking truth and you are also having a stamina. So there's a lot of stuff going on and that's why it's the calcite. You need to relax. You need to keep it up because you have just been really going at it. Okay. Then you have queen of pentacles, eight of cups, three of swords. You have eight of swords. You have the empress. You have two of pentacles. You have the Knight of Swords. You have the Fool. Really cool energy. So you're really feeling like this, this Empress uh, Queen of Pentacles um, energy because you're moving on from heartbreak. You're moving on from feeling trapped in something that was not serving you and, and feeling trapped from really like heartache and betrayal. Um, so you're really feeling this Empress because there's a lot of stuff that's moving and a lot of things that you're associated with this. And this is just like multitasking and just having a lot of different things going on. And you're just doing it because you have the stamina to do it. Um, that, but there is something that is coming and that is that Knight of swords. Something is coming quickly. And this is, might be a message. This is something of that, of that sense. And this is starting over. This is a new beginnings. Um, oof. I feel like cancer season right now, I think it's the summertime, the sun's out and people start to think because they're alone, they want to come back. And I like, I'm kind of getting that, that energy of that year that this person, whoever did this to you is coming back into your life. And I think you're going to give them a chance. So you have true love, which is, this is the romance of a lifetime and separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And I feel like this is what has happened, that this was the one that got away, whether you broke it off or they broke it off. There is that separation. And I feel like they are coming back. Um, second house owning South node life's debts. Grand Trine, Blessings, and Pluto, Transformation. What cool energy. So with the owning, it it's really going with that Queen of Pentacles because of the materials and whatnot. 
but I honestly feel like I'm getting, you're owning up to shit or this person that's coming back into your life is owning up to stuff. And that life's debts is really screaming to me that like this is, this had to happen. So all of this, this heartbreak and feeling trapped and all of this, it had to happen because it was a life debt. It was something that is karmic and had to happen. But there's blessings that's on this. So whether this is a new beginning of maybe a friendship and not necessarily a relationship, but just a new start, there's a blessing that is with this because I think that you both since that separation have grown and there's a transformation with that Pluto energy that's at play. Very cool. And again, you're, you're have that owl energy, which is deception, but it's also looking for truth and meadow vulnerability. Wow. Wolf instinct and Milky Way perspective. Okay, so it's being vulnerable. Make sure that you're being vulnerable. This can also be that other person being vulnerable. But trust your instinct. That is number one. That is with that owl energy. That is with this wolf energy. Trust your instinct. Because if this does not feel right, if this person comes back into your life, does not feel right, trust your instinct and don't do it. With a, a Milky Way perspective, it's also looking at things in a different perspective. Look at it from a different point of view. Look at it from the other person's point of view. Step outside of your situation and look at it that way. Because I think you're going to get a lot of answers that you've been asking yourself why. And then you have creative. Draw, paint, think, and act in creative ways. I feel like this is something that you need to start doing um, while you're doing this relaxation because you're doing so much. Start to get those create the that creative juices going. Start journaling, start drawing, start painting, start doing stuff like that. And Irene, which is peace. And it's there's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So that is just trusting the universe. The universe is doing everything that you have that it's going to do. So you just need to have peace, rest, relax, because it's happening the way it's supposed to happen. Okay, then you have the dark mysteries and the dark goddess calls you to her inner chamber where she holds a test and a gift for you. This test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, and prosperity in all its forms. Will you accept her call? It's your time for a deeper initiation is here. Wow. So the gift of freedom... So you're feeling trapped, your gift of freedom, your gift of peace. Wow, an opportunity. So this is releasing those fears. And I think that because of this negative energy that has happened, this heartbreak, and you're going to see this person and it's going to arise a lot of old feelings. And I think you're also fearful for that. Um, so it's time to face those fears and be like, you know what, this is, and be straight up with it. Be honest, have that owl energy and be like, this is not right. What you did was not right. So just, wow, this is a really cool read because I think if anything else, um, because I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing anything that is just like an immediate, like love relationship. That's like, this is an ex coming back and you're getting back into a relationship. I feel honestly, like this is going to be a resolution of this heartbreak because this feels like this was a sudden betrayal. This was done. You guys broke up, didn't talk. You haven't talked and it's just been done. And it's almost like a ghosting kind of thing where it's just been cut off, done. I'm not talking to you. And you had so many questions and you've really grown from yourself. And I think this person sees that. And that's why, and they've really started to work and transform themselves. Okay. So the next cards are, this is the turquoise Lotus mother and that's healing. An old pattern is finally on its death, death throes, something that weighed heavily on your past. Excuse me. It's so cool. This is exactly it where it's like, this is becoming to an end. This is this heartbreak, this, all of this junk that's been happening is going to stop. Okay. Then you have Maiden Magu, which is goddess of spring healing and transformation and trust 
you will arise from dark places. So this is really emphasizing that transformation and this, um, the dark mysteries where it's, you will heal from this. And when you are in a dark place and you are in that negative headspace or really bad things are happening to you, just trust that it's going to end. You'll get out of this. And then you have the yin empress, which is interesting because you had the empress card and that's healing and empowerment. Live with peace, Oh my gosh, prosperity and success. You are given blessings for your soul purpose. So really focus on yourself. Do that creative energy. Start doing stuff that is for yourself. Don't focus on this crap that's going to happen because it's going to resolve itself. Really focus on that healing, empowering yourself and, and look for your soul purpose. What's your soul purpose in life? And start journaling. I mean, that's like the best way of trying to get like your thoughts together of like, what makes me happy? What makes, what is my soul purpose? What is my soul purpose to be on this planet? What can I contribute? And so this is such a really cool read. Oh, I'm so excited for you. All right, guys, that is it. Make sure that you do hit the like, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below. Tell me if this does resonate with you. Um, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me um, through my tarot reading journey and, and oracle cards. Um, I really appreciate you guys, and you are so amazing, and I just love you guys. You guys are so awesome. Um, really quick, make sure that you do um, like me on Instagram. I post um, stories every single day. There's a card of the day. I am doing a free reading right now, offer uh, to win a free reading. So um, make sure that you do go to my Instagram like that and um, find that post and you could win a free reading from me. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you have a great rest of the day and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.